Welcome everyone, you may be in a situation where your iPod Touch isn't responding uh, to your screen input. So this may not be all the time, it may be sometimes. So let's say you unlock the phone and after 10 minutes, you know, the, the touch isn't working. But until then it is working, here's a couple of things you can do to solve the issue. So first of all, quickly, if you haven't restarted your device in a while, I recommend you do the restart. So what you do is on the older iPod Touches, you hold down power and home button together until you see the Apple logo. Once you see the Apple logo, release the buttons, wait until you're on the home screen. On the new iPod Touches, instead you hold down power and volume down button. The thing is, the new iPod Touches look the same as the older ones, so what I recommend you do, try power and home button first, if that does nothing, uh, do power and volume down, and then you'll be brought back to the home screen, and um, yeah, see if that solves the issue. Now, if it solves the issue, well, temporarily, or doesn't solve it at all, what I recommend you do is you go to settings, and uh, while you have touch, this is, you go to general, software update and if there's a new software update available i recommend you uh, update the latest version of ios you can see i have a brand new ios here 12.5.5 i recommend you upgrade to that version and that could solve the issue now if it doesn't solve the issue what you're going to have to do or let's say you just can't touch the screen at all so you can't do that well you need to enter recovery mode and then for recovery mode you're going to need to update the latest ios firmware via the computer so computer meaning windows or mac uh if you don't know how to enter recovery mode on google search away or youtube search away i guess you could say Maybe you'll find a tutorial made by me. <laughs> oh wait, you will. Uh, also, a tutorial on how to, you know, upgrade via iTunes. All you do is you download the iTunes app, and you just plug in your iPod Touch, and then you just upgrade. So that's very simple. I don't think you need a tutorial on that. You just press one button and see if that works. If it works, you're good to go. If it doesn't work, then that means that your iPod Touch is faulty. Now, it's not the end of the world. If your iPod Touch is under a year old, Apple will give you a free replacement, no questions asked. You just need to contact Apple support, and you'll be good to go. Now, if you uh, iPod Touch is over a year old, if you're in the UK, in EU, and some other countries as well, you have consumer law on your site. So if you're not in the UK or EU, look up whether or not you have consumer law. So just search up consumer law, Apple, and then your country in Google. And if you have consumer law, you're good to go. What you can do is you can contact Apple support and do the same steps that you would for warranties. Just say a screen's 40 and you'd like to use consumer law. They'll try and dodge it initially, but when they get to the final area, They'll usually say you need, to, you need to pay up. And when they say you need to pay up, you say you can use consumer law. They'll try and make it really hard to use consumer law. But as long as you have two things, uh, the original proof of purchase. So that means, you know, an invoice, which I don't know, you could probably forge an invoice. But I'm not trying to, <laughs> I'm not trying to give any ideas. I don't do that. But if you have the original proof of purchase and you bought from Apple directly, those two requirements, Apple will give you replacement, no questions asked. If you haven't done that, then your Apple Touch is basically KIA or EKIA, I guess you could say. And um, what that means, you just need to get a new iPod or new iPhone, something like that. I recommend you get a new iPhone because iPod Touches are really expensive for what they pack. And I'm not trying to be rude to the iPod Touch because I use one every day. I use the iPod Touch 6th Gen on iOS 8.4, jailbroken, love it. I use that for music. But uh, just keep in mind, guys, you can get an iPhone 7 for less than the iPod Touch 7. And the iPod, uh, iPod Touch 7 has the same processor. Um, uh, as the iphone 7 but small display no touch id you know and it costs more but iphone 7 you know just get the iphone 7 if you uh, have a broken ipod touch you'll thank me later so really that's all there is to it thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye